America. A Jeffersonville man accused of murder takes a plea deal and gets three years probation. Christopher Walton was drunk when he crashed his van into a ditch near Bellarmine University. Today, he pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of reckless homicide. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff is here with the tales of the plea agreement. Mark? Well, a conviction for murder carries a sentence of 20 to 50 years in prison. According to jail records, Christopher Wilton only spent six days in jail before posting bond. How does he wish to plead? Uh, guilty in conformance with the software. 46 year old Christopher Wilton pleaded guilty to reckless homicide, DUI, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Under the facts of the case, it says on November 8, 2014, the defendant operated a motor vehicle while impaired, and a crash occurred due to the defendant's impairment. The passenger, Christopher Jenkins, died from injuries sustained in the crash. Wilton crashed on Newburgh Road near Bellarmine University. A witness says he saw Wilton driving erratically before the van went off the road. He swerved left, kind of across the oncoming lane, which would make Newburgh south, kind of went on the, the breakdown area over there, gravel or something, and then just made a total right. The van was full of friends who had been out drinking. After the crash, Wilton asked for an attorney. I'm afraid this might be really serious, and I'm afraid my friend might not be alive, and I don't know if I should give any statements without an attorney present. Other people in the van told police the front passenger grabbed the steering wheel before the crash. Jeff Cook, a spokesman for the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office, says those statements, along with other factors in the case, led to the plea deal. Wilton also did not have a criminal history. You can't commit any new offenses or you're going to be right back here, okay? The Commonwealth's Attorney's Office also says the victim's family followed the case closely and that they were comfortable with the plea agreement. Attempts to reach a family member were unsuccessful. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. Prosecutors are also noted that Christopher Wilton is in a wheelchair. He has limited use of his hands. He will have to undergo drug and alcohol counseling, and Wilton can have the conviction expunged from his record.